Hi guys, today we will be going to discuss lecture number 14, part 2 of inorganic electronic spectroscopy. So for diagonal method for PD2 system, we will follow the same pattern, the same rules as we have discussed for P2 system. Actually, actually this system as we have previously discussed is for electronic two electron system systems having two electrons okay you will have to add this ml value on both sides okay taking ml value horizontally you can say this row will be added with the, this column like plus 2 plus 2 it will give us plus 4 so here we have added all these values like plus 2, plus 2, 4, plus 1, plus 2, 3, 0, plus 2, 2, minus 1, plus 2, plus 1, minus 1 and plus 2, it will give us a 0. Okay above the diagonal the values will be considered singlet and below the diagonal the values will be considered as a triplet so here we have a number of sets like set 1 we are m is equal to 3 of course if m is 3 you can say the term will be f is the spin multiplicity is triplet over here so it is 3 so the j value can be calculated as we have previously calculated for p2 system 4 3 2 so the term symbol will be triplet f 4 3 2 you can separate it in this fashion as well okay the second set is also a triplet one we are the maximum ml value is a 1 if the ml value is 1 so the term will be p is it lies in the triplet region so this term will be a triplet one okay the j value will be 2 into 0 so the total terms for this set will be triplet p2 and triplet p0 the next one is this set 3 okay set 3 where the ml value is a 4 it lies above the diagonal so definitely it will be a singlet ml is 4 m is, is 1 so spin multiplicity will be singlet so the j value will be 4 plus 0 because ml is 4 s is 0 4 plus 0 it will give us 4 so the term symbol will be singlet G4. The fourth one is a also lying above the diagonal where the maximum ML value is 2. So ML will be plus 2 plus 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 from plus 2 to up to minus 2. So MS again is a 0 and spin multiplicity is 1. Okay, singlet and j value is ls plus s and to up to ls minus s so here l is 2 and s is 0 okay so the j value will be 2 and term symbol in this case will be singlet d2 the last one is set 5 it also lies above the diagonal here this one is the diagonal 0 so mean it is singlet if it is 0 it means l is equal to 0 ms is equal to 0 and spin multiplicity will be 1 the total j value will be l plus s up to l minus s l is 0 s is 0 so j will be 0 the term symbol will be singlet s 0 remember once again the values above the diagonal are, sing are considered as singlet where is the values below the diagonal are considered as triplet
So the same thing, the number of term symbols we can, as we have derived earlier for the two system through a pigeonhole diagram, the same term symbol can be calculated, can be obtained over here as well. Okay, where, where term symbol is actually combination of a total spin angular momentum, spin multiplicity, total angular momentum. According to Horn's rule, the lowest energy term symbol will be that one having high spin multiplicity, high L value, and lower J value if the orbital is less than a half field. Here the orbital is less than half field, mean it is a D2 system where the, system, the orbital is less than a half field. Okay, so term will be F3 triplet F2 will be the ground state term symbol, the rest will be an excited one. Again, the total degeneracy for this system is 45. So, by total degeneracy, we mean the number of possible ways of arranging these electrons. Okay, here we can arrange, we can place these electrons in 45 different ways. Okay, the energies, the same thing, we have just revised it over here, that 45 energy levels are available for these sets of electrons. Okay, so according to the Horn rules, the system with the highest spin multiplicity, L value and the lowest J value will be considered as ground state term symbol. It will have a lower energy. Okay. So, as a rule, by keeping Horn's rule in mind, we can say, keeping in view the Horn's rule, the energy of triplet F will be less than G trip singlet G and less it will have an energy less than triplet P same as D and S okay it is according to the rule but in actual way this order is uh, followed we are uh, triplet F is having lower energy than a uh, singlet D it is having a lower energy than a uh, D, it is having G is having lower energy than P, and S is having lower energy than a S. It is a F a triplet lower having lower energy than a singlet a D. It is having lower energy than a triplet a P, and a so on. Please subscribe, share and like this channel. Thank you very much. If you have any question, I will be pleased to answer it.